number 12. Today we'll be talking about Disney's newest original cartoon series, Phineas and Ferb. episodes and even a rocket well maybe not so normal but really cool some might say their stuff is impossible to do but i think walt might say it's plausibly impossible we'll get to that another time besides i've seen them do all that stuff right on my tv phineas and ferb aren't so worried about getting caught it's all about fun and adventure they even bring their friends along for the fun their best friend is Isabella. That was great, Phineas. She's the leader of the local Fireside Scout Girls troop. All the time when she sees Phineas, she always gets these hearts in her eyes. She has a crush on him. Guess who does Isabella's voice? You're right, how did you know? It's Allison Sooner! Yay, Allison! Awesome! What you doing? Phineas is super smart. He can play a lot of instruments and he's really polite. <laughs> No, that's not happening. That was impressive. Anyway, Phineas is really polite, but he's missing his chin. And his head shaped like a triangle. He's always wondering where his pet platypus Perry is. We'll get to him in a bit. Phineas knows he's too young to be working on his projects, but that doesn't stop him. Vincent Martella does a voice for Phineas. Oh. And Vincent does have a chin, see? Ferb is a bit quiet, but he's not shy. Mm. Ferb works for Phineas to carry out their huge plans. He's really good at putting stuff together, and he's good with electronics. He built stuff like a roller coaster with a giant track, a full-sized remote-controlled monster truck, stadiums, ice cream maker, oh, the ice cream maker turned out to be a space laser by mistake. Anyway, this is really cool. Phil really has an English accent, but he often hides it with funny voices. Guess who does his voice? Thomas Sangster, the boy who played Simon in Nanny McPhee. Mm. I have an English accent just like him. Would you like a spot of tea? Moving on, Candace is a big party pooper. She's always telling on her brothers. Yep, she's a tattletale. Even worse than the tattler in wizard school. That girl. My brother is so lucky I don't tell on him. Except when he's doing something I don't like. So by the time Candace tries to show her mom what her brothers are doing, there's nothing to see. They've already moved or finished what they were doing. But, 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 Candace's mom gets a little suspicious of Candace instead. Let's just say she's not sure her daughter's processors are running at full speed. I told you I'm not crazy. I told you. When Candace isn't busting her brothers, she's usually doing teenage stuff. Talking on her cell phone or staring at Jeremy. She's also good with musical instruments, as long as they begin with the letter B. And she can sing, as long as wild parsnips don't get in her way. She's allergic to them. And she talks like this when she's near them. 
She sings like this too. No, 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 no. But the coolest thing about Candace is that her voice is done by Ashley Tisdale. Yes, the Ashley Tisdale. Oh, and Mitchell Muso from Hannah Montana does Jeremy's voice. Awesome? Yes, I know. Now this is the part of the show that gets weird, but in a cool way. You know, weird cool. Harry the Platypus is Phineas and Ferb's pet. But he's also a secret agent. Oops, not anymore. Okay, so he's an agent. He has a lair under the house with secret passages. And he has an evil scientist nemesis. Yep, a platypus with a nemesis. Don't tell me you've never heard of that. His name is Dr. Heinz Doofensmertz. Heinz, like the ketchup. I love ketchup. Especially on french fries. I'd use a bunch. Ooh. Well, that didn't work. He goes by Doofensmertz. Dr. Doofus or Doof for short. Perry's job is to stop Doofensmertz from carrying on his evil plans. <laughs> Moving on. He does it with really cool gadgets like a jetpack, a pocket helicopter, or even a grappling hook. Perry even has his own flying car. That's pretty cool. Phineas and Ferb have found the hideout, but they've never found out about Perry. One more thing on Perry. His voice is done by Pizza Guy from Hickley Town Heroes. To twist stuff around even more, Dr. Doofensmertz has a daughter who doesn't like his evil schemes. And I think Ferb might have a crush on her. Why would he do this? Confusing, eh? The show is awesome. There's so much going on all the time. It's so much fun to see what Phineas and Ferb do next. Speaking of that, see what we do next on Piper's Fix. We've got something really radical, awesome even for you. Until then, go watch Phineas and Ferb. Don't forget to send your comments to Team Piper at piperspix.tv. Awesomest website on the web. See you next week! This is a robot dance from Phineas and Ferb. Bow, bow, wow. That's what my baby says. Bow, bow, bow. And my heart starts pumping. Chicka, chicka, chew up. I'm never gonna stop. Gitchy, gitchy, goo means that I love you. Allison, I want to talk to her. I want to say a special message for her. On Somebody to you. No, wait, I have a better one. No, she could sing in that episode, too. At least I can play the banjo. At least I can play. At least I Well, he is a platypus. They don't do much.